all learnt about the different parts of a flower. But have you ever dissected a flower and seen what is actually inside it? In today's class, we are going to do exactly that. We are going to take a flower, dissect it and see that what we have learnt in our theory, if it actually holds good in practical. So let us see how we can dissect this flower and separate the different parts. For this, we need just a needle, a piece of paper and the flower that you would want to dissect. Now here I have taken hibiscus, which is China rose. You can take any other flower provided it is big enough for you to see the internal structures. So what is the outermost layer of a flower that you see? In a flower, the outermost whorl is called sepals. The entire whorl is called calyx and the members are called sepals. Now if you see this flower, these are the apicalyses. The apicalyx is the part that we are not going to take out. This is the stalk of the flower and this green layer is the calyx which consists of one, two, three, four and five sepals. Now this flower is gamosepalous which means all these five sepals are fused here to form a continuous column. Although the tip is free, they are fused towards the lower end. So our first job is to take out this calyx. For that, we will make a small incision here, which you can see will separate the calyx. Now, we will slowly cut the calyx from the bottom. Make sure that you do not hold the flower by the stalk because that will break away the rest of the inner parts. So I will hold the flower with the corolla and I will slowly make incisions not very deep with the needle so that I can easily peel out the epicalyx. If the calyx gets stuck somewhere, just give a little more incision to free it and you will see that it comes off like this. So this is the calyx which consists of sepals that have been fused. The next wall of the flower are these petals. So you can see there are five petals. I want to take out these petals, the entire whorl of these petals, which is known as corolla. For that, again, I'll hold the flower at the petal and I will give a slightly deeper incision in the lower end. Now you have to be careful that you do not pull or tug this, these petals too much. Look very carefully, you will just have to pull the petals so that you can see the ovary inside. See, we can see the ovary inside, this is the ovary. Okay, so this is the ovary. Now, in this flower, the ovary, which is a part of the gynaecium, is present at the base and the style, which you can see is right here, this white stalk, this is the style, runs through a tube, this red tube, this red tube is made up of the fused filaments of the stamen. So, stamen, which is a part of the andracium, has two parts, anther and filament. These yellow lobes that you can see here, these are the anthers and the filaments have joined together to form a tube which is known as the staminal tube. Now my job here is to take out the style from within the staminal tube. Now this is a slightly difficult job and a slightly delicate work for which you have to be very patient 
and very very careful with the amount of pressure that you are putting on to the floral part. So I will slowly tease the staminal tube, open it and I will bring out the ovary. See the style is coming out of the staminal tube but I will not pull it because if I pull it, it will break. So I will keep opening the staminal tube and automatically the style is going to get released. See, I am not going to pull it without opening the staminal tube. So I will cut the staminal tube. till the end and the style will come out along with the stigma. So here you have the corolla with the stamens and the anther is attached to the filament and this is your stigma. As you can see there are 5 stigma here, 5 lobes that you can see, right. The style is this white part and you have the ovary here. So this is the gynaecium which is attached to the base and the base is known as thalamus. This is the stalk, the epicalyx is still there. And the stigma, style and ovary, they are attached to the thalamus. On this side, you have five petals forming the whorl which is called the corolla. To that, you have the filaments attached forming a tube. Now, the tube has been dissected so that we could take out the style. And at the tip of the tube, you can see there are infinite anthers which are present here. Now, we will look at one of these anthers and the cross section of the ovary to see what is present inside. So we are going to take one or two anthers, put it on the slide and we are going to take a section, try and make a thin section as thin as possible of the ovary. So you see I made a section of the ovary and I am going to put it on the slide and we will just observe it under the microscope. So this is how we dissect a hibiscus to see the different parts of the flower. This is how the section of the ovary and the anther lobe will look under a microscope. Hope you enjoyed this. Try dissecting more flowers and find out what is present inside. Let us know in the comment box below. Subscribe to our channel and go to our website www.manochaacademy.com for courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics and computer coding. Hope you will have fun. Happy learning.